This problem tells us a bar over a sequence of digits in a decimal indicates that the sequence repeats indefinitely. So in other words, with this decimal here, if we were to write it all out, it would be 0, 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, that just going on forever in that particular pattern. Now let me point out a big mistake of this problem would be to figure out this subtraction first and then try and multiply that difference times this decimal. As it happens, this subtraction is not hard to figure out. It's 9,900, but then you're stuck trying to multiply 9,900 times this infinite decimal. Huge mistake. Instead, what we're gonna do is make use of the distributive property. In this particular case, the distributive property tells us that A minus B times C, we could distribute C, so that would be AC minus BC. So in this particular case, that will be 10 to the fourth times the decimal minus 10 to the second times the decimal. So let's figure those two out separately. 10 to the fourth times, and I'll write out the first little bit here. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. That whole thing repeating. Well, multiplying anything times 10 to the fourth, that just has the effect of moving the decimal place four places to the right. So, in other words, that would be 12 times 12.121212121, all that just going on forever. Now, separately, we'll figure out 10 to the second times this decimal. Again, I'll write out some terms here. Multiplying by 10 to the second means move the decimal place two places to the right. And so we'd wind up with 0 0.121212121, that whole thing going on forever. So now we want to subtract these two. Well, notice what happens. Everything to the right of the decimal place cancels, and we're just left with 12. Answer choice E.